Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene, and uh, I'm, I'm laughing because, I don't know, I'm having um, a little bit of fun with the whole uh, dating site thing. This is like a hard thing to juggle when you are on YouTube and you plan on letting the people that you chat with know that you're on YouTube. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. I don't know. I turned my profile on. Actually, I had to create a new one because I couldn't remember any of the info, um, the login and all that, from my previous one. And all I would have had to do is look at my passwords and I would have seen it. But anyway, so I ended up deleting the older one and I just stayed with the newer one because I was getting more action. It was brand new. And here's how I planned on handling this. Okay, first of all, if you haven't uh, been watching my past few videos, go watch them. The one where I'm crying in the car kind of starts there. Just been going through a really rough patch. Um, my mother died uh, seven months ago, and I was doing okay, and then it really started to fall apart. And I'm just now, I think I'm out of the fog of all that it took for me to care for her and I'm starting to realize just now or over the past you know few weeks couple months that I um, I'm free from that responsibility and it, it really got me down because I also started realizing that I, I wasted my life on that. all right so you can go watch that video what is it called let me look very rough day. I'll link to it down below and I will try to remember to put it on the end screen of this video. And it explains a little bit as to why I am feeling the way I'm feeling and you know I still today there was some really bad parts but there's some uh, distraction and that was one of the things that I had done before I had that video about a very rough day a little while before I decided, you know, I'm going to open up the um, the um, dating sites. I, I can't think what I'm talking about. And, you know, see if I can just, you know, maybe this time take it a little bit more seriously and actually make an attempt to, um, to meet someone. And then I just really felt like shit, and I just didn't feel like I could do that. But then I decided I was, you know, going to start looking at things, and I did, and I, you know, of course have a slew of messages, all from just, you know, scammers. And then I had a couple of others. I messaged one, I think I told you that in that video, I never heard back from that guy. And then I got a few messages from others, and again, some of those messages are just either ridiculous or uh, you know, you can just tell. It, or the picture is like a, of a guy that looks like he's 25, you know? <laughs> it's like, no. I actually wrote back to two different ones. One, I thought this could be interesting just by the one image that I saw. The other one, not so much, but I said, I'm going to communicate. I just want practice doing that. And <laughs> Because, you know, I'm so antisocial. But before I started doing all of this, here was my plan. You might agree with it. You might disagree with it. But I'm going to tell you my plan, how I'm going to handle this, and why. All right. You all know I make my living on YouTube. It's an important part of my life. And I uh, document everything that I do for the past eight years. And I've even filled everybody in on my childhood and, you know, my whole life. So instead of me trying to just talk to someone, chat to someone, or even be on the phone with someone, I haven't done that yet. So far it's just been chatting via the, the, um, the site or texting. And all of this is happening today and I think a little bit yesterday. I'm not keeping track. But here's my plan. Instead of me explaining to someone all about me, what I do, what I look like, how I sound, you know, my personality, I'm just going to give them my fucking channel and say, go watch this shit. And if you still have 
any interest in communicating with me, fine. I just, I love that. I love that I don't have to like chat with somebody and constantly be worried about if we meet, you know, they're not going to know what I look like. No. And they're going to have to know about my channel because that's what I do for a living. So it's not like my channel is um, a hidden secret, you know. But what I do is I just start chat back and forth a little bit gives me a little idea and then um with one and only one so far i you know decided i could continue to chat with him but i have to um i have to throw my channel out there see if he wants to see that so i said uh would you like to see my channel and he said yes and you'd have to be an idiot to say no to that right because i'm giving him the chance to really see who he's talking to. Now, do remember, I am well aware that all of these people could be phony, even though they're not uh, talking like they're from Nigeria. <laughs> I know this. I'm very, very careful to the point where it's embarrassing, you know, to say just how sure I want to be. <laughs> so uh, I sent him my channel via text he gave me his phone number and i texted him and but what i did is i wrote up a thing about uh, a script i should say of the things that are very important to me and i've saved that so i don't have to explain th this to every single person you know because if they're going to look at my channel i have to give them a little bit of a backstory this is my channel these are the things i talk about there i talk about my narcissistic mother my alcoholism my toxic childhood you know all those things and i just you know kind of just like put it out there i tell them that i swear and you know stuff like that so i want them to know me and watch me and then, you know, we can go from there. But I also want to know stuff about them. But I'm not going to uh, be too pushy right away. I don't want to sound like a complete paranoid freak. But I pretty much am. Especially with all the bullshit that I went through with the movers and all. I mean, I just, I have no trust anymore. But it's not about being paranoid and not trusting. It's about being safe. As safe as possible. I just want to know that I'm actually talking to a person who uh, said it is who they say they are. Right? So I uh, texted the video, uh, my channel. I sent that message of inside the, the dating site with all the things uh, that I find are important and um, my alcoholism, did I say that? Um, I didn't say to them that it's a deal breaker that they can never drink. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to control what somebody does in their own life, but it will be known that they won't be able to drink around me. I mean, that's just, that's just, uh, that has to be that way. Um, and then he texted back. Now, he's probably watching. Hi. Uh, the reason I'm even talking about it right now is because I'm starting to get a feeling that, I don't know, there's just something now not... Uh, let's just go through this and then I'll, I'll be able to tell you. Um, you know, he says he's definitely not a scammer, you know, and of course a scammer is going to say that, right? <laughs> I'm not saying he's a scammer. If you're listening, I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you that I have to be careful. I ended up saying, how can I even know that you really live in South Haven? I have good reasons not to trust people. <laughs> I do, especially from my past. You know? um, my life is out there, very public. I can't even hide who I am, but most people can hide. Uh, maybe take a picture of yourself somewhere in South Haven. I thought that was a good idea that he could go outside or go to a, you know, Goodwill or, you know, the few things that I know in South Haven and, you know, take a picture, tell me what he's standing in front of. I don't need his um, address at this point, you know, but just show me that you're actually in South Haven and take a picture and then we'll go from there. And then he says that next time he's out, uh, maybe... Next time I am out and about, I can think to get you a picture of me and South Haven scenery. Now that was uh, the, the word maybe, that 
was a red flag to me. And maybe the next time I am out, go out. You're 65 years old. What are you doing? Sitting in the house? Go, go out. To... <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. I'm telling you, this is going to be interesting. Like I said, it's a distraction. And maybe by chance, who knows? Tiny, tiny, tiny little chance. Maybe I'll meet somebody. Um, then, then he says, I can tell you all about South Haven and a good bit about Hernando. Now, obviously, he knows I'm in Hernando. It's on my profile. Uh, and I don't have my full name on my profile, but I'm sharing my YouTube channel, and that's my name. So they can do all the homework they want on me. I just can't on them. All I knew was his first name at this point. And then he says, did you go to the Walmart in Hernando there at Commerce and McInvale? Anybody can look that up. You could be halfway around the world and look that up. And that was another red flag. It sounded too much like he was trying to, um, this poor guy, if he's all on the up and up, I'm probably making him feel stupid. I'm sorry. But to me, it came across as somebody, the scammers, uh, trying to make it like they, they know the place, they know the area. I don't think I would ever text someone that I'm chatting with, and like I know a couple of places in, in uh, South Haven, I don't think I would ever say, oh, do you go to the Walmart in South Haven? You know, <laughs> on Goodman and whatever it is. I can't remember the other road. I think it's 55. And then, and then he says, and this is four texts, right, one after another. I like to eat at the Guadalajara Mexican restaurant on Commerce. Again, that's something that can easily be looked up. So none of those things are convincing to me, you know. I'm looking for proof that he is a real person in South Haven. So I text, are you on Facebook? Because I was like, ah. now see, this is why I like communicating because I'm going to learn that I want a list of uh, social media and tell them I need to see all these <laughs> things. He replies, yes, but I'm not interested in communicating via Facebook. All right, so now I have to say, I just wanted to see your Facebook. Um, not trying to communicate there. Texting is fine, just looking for proof you are who you say you are. And so now he tells me on Facebook it's blank blank, his name, first and last. My profile pic is of me in a boat doing a muscle man <laughs> pose. I was running to my computer to see that, but it, you know, it was just him sitting in a boat with making like a muscle thing. And the picture is 11 years old. I can't for the life of me tell if it's the same picture that I see on the profile. So again, that wasn't good proof. And I also didn't like that when I asked about Facebook, I would have liked the reply, yes, I have Facebook, it's old, and I don't look the same or whatever, but here it is. You know what I mean? Something like that. Um, and then I told him now at this point, I found that Facebook, I can't really tell if it's you in that picture, and it's an old picture too. And I did say, because I feel sick to my stomach that I don't know how to come out and say, show me who you fucking are, right? So I wrote, I'm coming across as paranoid now, so I'm just going to stop chatting about all this. I'm unsure what to do from this point. I'm not 100% convinced that you are who you say. I've watched too many episodes of Dr. Phil in the past. <laughs> It's true, and I think most of you would agree with that. I and I don't want to spend days, you know, trying to get him to go take a picture of himself standing in front of some place in South Haven, so I can see he's there and not in Nigeria somewhere, you know. And it doesn't even have to be a scammer. You know who else could be doing stuff like this? A hater from YouTube. Absolutely, could be that. See, these are the things I have to be careful for. You guys know I live in Hernando. You know, I'm 62. 
you know, uh, the thing is, is though, I don't know if I can see how old a profile is. I don't know if it shows, like, if somebody really wanted to, they could just look for the sites, look for me, and they could just create a profile, look up somebody on Facebook from South Haven, try to find an account that hasn't been updated, put some pictures. Okay, so um, I really don't know what to do at this point. I'm not texting him again. He can text me if he wants to, but I've already gotten to the point where it's like, so, and it's not his fault. You know, he's probably a really nice guy, a really nice guy. But the thing is, is that it's hard to know that until you really get to know somebody, but I am not going to spend time chatting back and forth with someone until I know <laughs> they really live where they say they're living and that, um, you know, and then I have to find out things like, are they lying about being divorced or widowed or, you know, are they married? In other words, there's a lot of things to check on and you can't do that if they don't have social media. With social media, you can find a lot out and I, I have to be a detective like that especially since they get to know everything about me. So that's what I'm going to say. Look, you're going to get to know everything about me, and I need you to be someone that I can get to know everything about. So you're going to have to share your Facebook with me, your Instagram, you know, whatever. And if they don't agree to that, then I, I won't send them my channel, you know, something like that. I should actually have them send me their stuff first. Um... Or I can just let them go to my channel. I don't care. You know, my channel is a public thing, so it's okay to send them to my channel. Um, yes, so anyway, back to like a hater. A hater could just make up a profile and, uh, you know, slap some things together. I think that's a stretch, though, because I would like to think that the sites show how how long someone has been a member. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. If somebody has been a member for a year and a half and, you know, I don't know. But you know what they could do? They could just change where they're from because that's instant. They could say South Haven, Mississippi. They could change their age. Um, they could change their profile pic. Oh, yeah. So I need to be a detective. And let's see, let's look and see if I have anything funny. Hang on. I have two whole pages. I didn't even know that. And again, mostly scams. And I have done this before, you know, so I, I know how it goes. And like I said, I have a whole shitload of videos that I had done for my um, patrons and YouTube members. And I do want to say to the man that I've been texting, if you are on the up and up, uh, just try to understand that uh, I have to be careful. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. And I, I'm totally going to be absolutely myself through this. Because if I, I you know, actually meet someone, I want them to know, to know what they're going to have to put up with. Um, okay. Hello, beautiful. Not even a profile picture, right? What are the chances? And... Uh, Good morning, beautiful. And it's a, a young man tipping a hat. I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm not going to show the faces. I used to on those other videos because it, they were pro uh, not private, but they were unlisted. But I'm not going to do that here. Good morning, beautiful. What an amazing smile you got. <laughs> Hello, beautiful lady. Again. Oh, I'm, I'm going to open this one because it's long. It's, well, not long, but longer than just that. Hi, I must confess. <laughs> you are a beautiful woman. <laughs> Just, see, the word confess, what the hell is he holding? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He's, oh, 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 it's ski poles. There's no snow. I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Hi, I must confess you are a beautiful woman and you caught my attention with your smile. <laughs> He starts like that unless men are really really stupid I would like to know more about you my name is what's your name and where do you live okay so did he look at the profile I think my first name is public 
and I, I, it says Hernando, I look forward to your response and hope you're having a good day. He got the correct your. He gets fucking points for that. Um, it's just, I don't know, this stuff cracks me up. Hi, gorgeous woman. Good morning, sun emoji. <laughs> What's up with you? face of yours just made me smile. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> I don't know if we're gonna beat that. Oh, I'm so glad I'm doing this. Hello, how are you doing? My name is Mark. Cares to chat more? <laughs> don't cares to. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. My name, oh, and it's, a, it's a, a rose emoji. My name is William, and I will love to know you. Can you leave me your number? Okay. <laughs> this one. Hi. That's it. Hi there, I love your profile and I think we would hit it off. I hope to hear back from you. I mean, that's not horrible. Brentwood. Is there a Brentwood around here? So I don't know yet. 68. I... What the fuck? It looks like a woman. Oh. Okay. Let's just, let's just go. <laughs> Alright, let's skip that guy. Um, okay, where, where's, how do I get to the other page? Oh, see, I have to go all the way down. Hello, gorgeous lady. Again, this another one. How are you? That's it. All those are scams. Every one of them. Hello there. How are you doing today? Again, might not be that scammy, but, um... Most people would offer a little bit more information. And some of these I'll look and they're not even anywhere close to Mississippi. I'm confused by this one. Very nice skin. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. He says, I have the skin of a 70 year old. thing under his profile. Would you like to cutter with me? Uh, does he mean cuddle? I don't know. Is cutter uh, something that I don't know about? Hi, my name is... I can say their first names. Hi, my name is Sammy. How are you on this morning? We all want to know about how I can meet you. <laughs> Who is all? Is he already telling his family? See, again, very, very fake. All fake. 63. Memphis is what it says. Tell about your job. See, that's not even, um, you know, proper English, you know. Not, most people don't say, how are you on this morning? Capital M for morning. <laughs> <laughs> Tell about your job, damn it. Um, okay, I think, I, I think I've run out. Carl, hello. Just, Hi. Hi. Uh, oh, nice smile. Okay. Well, I think that's about all the ones for now. Oh, I'll read some more of these if you guys don't mind. Well, you can't tell me if you mind or not, so I'm going to read some more of them. But the thing is, is it dies out after a while. I don't know how to, um, I don't know if there's a way to like close it down for a little bit and then bring it back to new to see if it would generate more info. I'd have to pay. And what I don't want is 
this particular site, the least you can get is three months. I don't want to pay for three months of something that I might be done with in a week from now. You know, and I certainly don't want to invest on this particular site. If I think there's a chance that I can meet someone, I need to go to a better site. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd you know, try eHarmony. I think that one is, I don't know, that, I don't know. I'll have to look. Maybe Match.com, something like that. Something especially better for um, older people like me. The site isn't bad. There's a lot of older people or just people lying about being older. So that's my experience so far this time around. I am glad that there were some funny things to read. And again, if uh, that guy is watching, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to get around that. I mean, I'm obviously not going to talk about someone if I think there's a chance. If things are going okay, I'm going to get to know that person first. I'm not going to talk about someone that I'm, I'm still wheeling and dealing with, but he, he hasn't texted back. Uh, I, think it, I think it's done. I think he knows that I, I want uh, proof beyond what he has been uh, showing me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.